So we've seen stocks swinging like a pendulum over the last two weeks. The volatility index, which shows fear in the market, seems to be easing at this hour. But does that mean we're in the clear? We bring in our all-star panel who will tell us what they're vixating on. Hi, guys. Sam, what are you vixating on? Hey, well, I think that the market's going to be working its way back up a little bit further, up to about the 50-day moving average before we run into a bit of resistance and then go down and retest the lows that we saw before. Okay, so if you're looking for an exciting moment, you're going to get it in a week or two is what you're saying? I think that's certainly a possibility. Uh, we really don't establish bottoms uh, in just one fell swoop. We tend to bounce off of them, and then we come back, retest to see whether the, the bottom is truly put in place. Uh, and if so, well, then the market then tends to head its way higher. So I would say, uh, yeah, maybe the worst is behind us, but uh, be prepared for a retest as well. You like Caterpillar, UPS, EQT. I want to bring in Ari Wald from Oppenheimer. Give me a sense, Ari, of what you see, because the VIX seems to be calming down. Is this a one-day thing? Yeah, I think that's a good sign right here. Taking a step back, uh, markets come in a lot over the past few weeks, but the long-term support levels are still intact, still above that 200-day moving average. We've seen some stabilization there, and we've seen it with signs of lessening downside intensity. I'm very encouraged that the VIX is showing signs of making that lower high, showing that sellers are, are losing their cool here, or lo losing their, uh, the, the downside intensity. So uh, I think the long-term uptrend does continue. I think this is a terrific opportunity to be buying stocks. Um, uh, uptrend uh, still intact here. I see you both see at least opportunity and not too much fear. Uh, Sam, we're up against the closing bell. Uh, Dennis Gartman was just on. He said volume is showing. There's more selling when we start to see moves here, and it's nerve-wracking to him. Are you worried about trading volume? Well, I think that investors are worried. They're wondering whether, uh, because we did go 564 days, a record since World War II, without a 5% decline. So I think it's uh, the market climbs a wall of worry, and that's what it's doing right now. Indeed. Uh, not today. Not too much worry, everybody. Thanks.